Let's talk about joint variation. Joint variation describes a situation where one variable depends on two or more other variables and varies directly with each of them when the others are held constant. In other words, we say Z varies jointly as X and Y if Z is equal to K times X times Y for some constant K. Remember direct variation? Y varies directly as X if there is some constant K such that Y equals K times X. And K is called the constant of variation. So joint variation just takes that one step further. Let's try a couple of problems. Z varies jointly with X and Y when Z is equal to 12, X equals 3, and Y equals 20. Can you determine the constant of variation? So we are looking for K. So let's begin with writing Z equals K times X times Y. And let's fill in the variables that we know. We know that Z is equal to 12, X is 3, and Y is 20. Now let's simplify this. 3 times 20 is 60. I will get 1 fifth equals K. Our constant of variation is 1 fifth. Suppose Z varies jointly with X and Y when Z is equal to 28, X equals 7, and Y equals 6. Find the value of Z when X is 15 and Y is negative 2. Let's begin with Z equals K times X times Y. Because remember, it said Z varies jointly with X and Y. Well, I need to know K. Well, I do know that when Z is 28, X is 7, and Y is 6. Let's simplify this. 7 times 6 is 42. In order to solve for K, I will divide both sides by 42. I can reduce this and I will get 2 thirds equals K. I have my constant of variation. So let's use this to solve the rest of the problem. We know that Z varies jointly with X and Y. So I have Z is equal to K times X times Y. We have found the constant of variation, the K is equal to 2 thirds. So the problem wants me to find the value of Z when X is 15 and Y equals negative 2. I will fill in the variables that I know and Z will equal negative 20. So once again for joint variation we say Z varies jointly as X and Y if Z is equal to some number, a constant K times X times Y.